It's me, Irene Sanders. Good evening, Walter. Uh, good evening. Here are the x-ray photos that Professor Abel asked for yesterday. You look completely worn out, Walter. Is anything wrong? The professor is driving you too hard. No. He's a genius, and it's really a pleasure to work with him. But he's beginning some experiments that, in my opinion, exceed uh, certain ethical limits. Why? What do you mean? Irene, you know me. You know that I'm not what you might call a very religious man. No, that's true. But now I'm starting to question certain things. Has any man the right to compel nature to surrender her closest secrets? I can't answer. I'm very much confused. Walter, has the professor spoken to you yet? About what? About me. He examined me two weeks ago, and I wanted to know if... Oh, I'm sorry. I really don't know what's wrong with me these days. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, he's very satisfied with his findings, and he's convinced an operation can be successful. But I'm worried, Irene. You know there are risks involved. I have full confidence in the professor. Walter, I'm so lucky. Oh, just to imagine, I'll be able to stand straight at last. And nobody's going to stare at me. On the contrary, I think that men are certainly going to look at you. Walter, where are you? I need you. The professor wants me. I will be able to see you soon. We'll talk about it then. Goodbye, Irene. Good night, Walter. Excuse me, nurse. I'm looking for the house of Professor Abel. That's it. Dr. Oud, with a message from Professor Hartman. Mm. Hello, Dr. Oud. Good evening, Professor. May I present Dr. Burke, my assistant. He's a first-class surgeon and an excellent architect. It's he who designed this house. This is Bert Yeager, an engineer of genius. He designed and built my special operating table. It permits me to work without assistance. He's a little strange, the result of a brain operation. But he's a good and faithful collaborator and worthy of our confidence. We all live here together. <laughs> Where are you from, by the way? I can't even tell you, Professor. I was the only survivor of a shipwreck. Both of my parents died. I was a few months old. You have a very strange name. That was the name of the wrecked ship, S.S. Oud. Nah. Dr. Hartman has recommended you highly. Why do you wish to work with me? I um, have followed your recent experiments with great interest, Professor, especially that in which you succeeded in removing the head from mm -hmm. a dog's body and keeping it alive for four uh, months. But the Russians performed that experiment months before I did. We plan to conduct a series of unprecedented experiments shortly on keeping human tissue alive after death. I'm particularly interested in the grafting of healthy organs to replace diseased ones. That is a field in which I'm extremely interested. Ah, uh, well then you're the man we're looking for. <laughs> this is my operating room. find everything you'll ever need here. Electrocardiograph, electrocephalograph, and this. Uh, this is my silent assistant which Bert built for me. And that is my serum Z. With this serum, I'm able to keep an organ alive after separating it from its body. Fantastic. Fantastic. 
That's absolutely sensational. Why have you kept this a secret, Professor? Oh, do you think it's so important? I'm not an ambitious man. What's important for me is the progress of science. Yes, that was used to support the dog's head. Theoretically, one should be able to repeat the experiment with a man's head. Oh, but that's absurd. I would never have thought of such a thing. <laughs> I said theoretically, Professor. Yes, you're perfectly right. Theoretically, it's possible. Thanks to the advances of modern surgery and my development of Serum Z, it's possible to consider operations which would until recently have been considered unthinkable. When can you move in with us, sir? Whenever you wish, Professor. Tomorrow. Good. Walter, leave us alone. Bert? Yes? What do you think of the new man? I don't know. But the professor needs him. Dr. Oud. Do forgive me, but I must call your attention to a most important fact. The professor has a weak heart. A very weak heart. I love him dearly. Any undue emotion might bring I'm my... here for only one purpose to work. Good evening. You get a big kick out of taking your clothes off in front of those slobs, don't you? If you want to make me a better offer, go ahead. I'm sick of standing around shivering and playing the model for you. Nobody says you have to. I just don't like seeing you undressed in front of others. Uh-huh. You're jealous, plain jealous. If you don't like it, do something about it. We could live like millionaires if you wanted. If your father, the great John Lerner, would only make you work a little on your law examinations long enough to get your diploma. <laughs> you and your pictures. Who'd buy any of your pictures? Oh, be quiet. You make me sick. <laughs> I make you sick, huh? Who needs you anyway? Miss Lily, on stage. Yes, I'm coming. So I make you sick, huh? One minute to go, Miss Lily. Just wait. 